Hello, I am going to do another F sharp live coding video again using Exorcism. It is the next exercise and it is called Hamming. Uh, if you're interested, you can give the read me a bit of a read, but basically, what the Hamming number is is it's got to do with DNA and all that. But to put it in programmer terms, we have two character arrays or strings, and we look for the positions where those are different, and we add those occurrences up, and we have seven. I haven't looked at the tests on this yet, um, but I'm sure it will be fairly straightforward forward once the nice thing with testing is you can see what the results of the test are and basically build up from there um, allowing each test to pass one by one so we will start by running the tests are uh, .NET Core test .NET test group test this takes a bit of time to run, I don't know why, but... Is it doing anything? Yes, it is doing something. You can use control backtick to control tilde button to bring the terminal window up if you are interested. Okay, so one test failed, eight tests skipped, that makes sense. Let's look at the code. So the first test we want to pass is the distance between two should be zero. So let me just return zero. Why is that underlined? Expression was expected to have type int option. Okay, let's try and... I don't know what an option is. Some... Some zero. Okay. Oh, it means it's optional. Right, okay. Learning something. So some, I guess, tells us that we are returning something. That test can be run again.
Okay, one paused. Let's unskip this one. This is also expecting a zero, so I'm going to presume it's going to pass as well. But let's give it a run. did pass. Next, this one is going to fail, but ugh, I'm not going to run it again. I know it's going to fail. Well, let's run it. One of the reasons you run a test you know is going to fail when doing test-driven development is if you're expecting your test to pass, or if you're expecting your test to fail, and it does in fact pass, um, you have the problem that your test is written wrong. So here we can confirm it is in fact failing, so it is a valid test for what we are looking to do. It should return a 1. Um, so we could just make this quite simple and say if strand 1 equal strand 2 return some one else some one is that valid? Uh, like I said before the reason I'm doing this is because I'm not very good at all at F sharp and I am wanting to might sound like a stupid question, but what's an equality operator in F sharp? Maybe we can need to wrap that. No. Okay. I am going to open up the Google quickly. Very exciting watching me code, isn't it? Maybe it needs a then. There we go. Uh, mm, let's say indent use spaces for. Okay, that's crude, but it should pass our test, after all that is what we are looking for. Okay, that is passing. Well done, me. Uh, remove the next skip. Now again, this is should return zero. So that's fairly simple. If they're exactly the same, we should still be passing. These tests seem to have quite a drastic turn up. They're all pass and just about no code at all and then I can see all of a sudden it's going to be trying to do everything to get like the last test to run or something. 
Okay, I was right and that passes. Uh, let's do it again. That's busy, I'm wondering. Test framework. FS unit, X unit. Alright. I use X unit in. for C sharp. I quite like it. Okay, we're expecting 9. And because this isn't actually a length of 9, we cannot just return the length of the string. We actually now have to check. Uh, so, how would I want to do this? I need to break up the string into an array of characters. Okay, so from what I can see is uh, F sharp has this little library called sec, which I presume means sequence. Uh, to array, to list, I don't know which is better, so let's, let's sec. Sec my first one. Ah, we have the nice little pipe operator. You can't see it, but that is a pipe and a greater than. I have font ligatures installed on here, so it gives me a fancy arrow, which is quite nice, I suppose. Um, Okay, we need some sort of um, comparison. So, what can we do here? A sort of a, um, if we have a in C sharp it would be that would be an array and we would select it uh, and then we could select something in the equivalent position on the other one uh, what is the equivalent of that going to be all this uh, list manipulation See, we've got a list dot map. We 
which takes a function um, can we f12 then no okay that's just going to return itself so what I do want is its index maybe map 2 missing function body If we just return C, uh, that's basically just telling us that we're not doing anything. Uh, let's just put that into something for now. What's the problem here? block of letters undefined, if you say so. It's an object list. Uh, expression is expected to have type char, but here we have... It's probably just telling us that it's pointless. Um, okay, so I want a checking the Google again. F sharp list dot map index. Okay, so what I saw online is somebody said we have index, I'm just going to call it I, and then you would select strand one I. But here I is going to be a char, that is not going to work. What if Interesting. Okay, here's the thing with list two, this list two thing. Um, if 
I say map two, we want to uh, we would have let's call it A and B. could have an A equals B or rather what's a not equals then our input for that is I don't suppose we could just do that no so we're going to have to Let's clean this up a bit. Uh, list one can be equal to that. Let list two equal to that. Head items tail, okay, that's a fairly self explanatory list. Dot, what do we have? A filter. So let's send that to the filter. Okay, so we're just going to say we're true, 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 basically, and that will be piped into, we must be able to do list.length or something, length, and we can return r, ah, sum r, sum r. I am not quite sure what these squigglies are trying to tell me. Um, if function type term eliminates arguments and returns values, yields as an expression used in match. Okay, it's just my lit telling me I should be doing something else but I'm not entirely sure what. Anyway, let's see if this works. We can always clean code up just now.
my test is running. My test boss, I'm a genius, aren't I? Okay, this should return a none. Uh, deleted too much there. Uh, because they have a different length, so it should just equal none. That is, I presume, this option thing. It's a bit like a, a nullable return, I suppose. Um, let's take that away. Let's run the test. Let's see it fail. It fails, yay! If it fails, we are doing something right. I know that sounds strange. So, what we need to do is just, if these aren't the same, we could return immediately. I don't know if that's a thing in... I suppose it would be, um, because we can just say if len strand1 is not equal to len strand 2 then none else I don't know if len is actually the right function name, I've got no clue it just sound right um, we've got dot length I suppose functional not f sharp is still based on dot net which is an object so strand one is still a dot net string Running the test, running the test. It passes. I am looking, the rest of the tests all just return none because the lengths are different. So I am going to remove all the skips. And see what happens. they do all pass. Okay, one of the things to finish up test-driven development would be of course to refactor code. You've got red, green refactor. So this isn't the best looking function, although it's not massive. I'm not sure if there's anything that we can do to make it a little better. Um, we could create another distance function um, that already assumes the lengths are equal and I suppose we could also go straight to a list uh, strand1 as char list strand 2 as charlist and I'm just going to return an int 
because I want this to only run if the test has already been done. I don't know if F sharp has a private operator, but I suppose it's not in not serious right now. I'm also don't know if you can overload like this. Uh quite possibly not. Let's call it distance. Uh, I don't know what to call it. Distance to and I am interested in that basically. want some distance to run test That does work. I suppose I wonder if. Ah, sorry about that. Keyboard error. Could we just pipe that into some? It might look a little better. Still not entirely sure what to do about that. Um, I also don't know if you could just assume that, no, uh, but it is working, um, I'm not a F-sharp expert, that's the point of doing this exercise, my test pass, um, I will upload this to exorcism and then it's supposed to be a mental based thing, you never know if anyone's actually going to see it, um, Just like no one's probably going to watch this video. If you do happen to watch this video and you know a better way, please do let me know. It would be quite interesting to see that. Um, I will post the link to the exorcism solution in the notes. Awesome. Thanks a lot.